Good morrow, my lovely little ghosts, and welcome to the Dark Orchard. I'm Laura, and this is an Airbnb review. As I said in my intro, this is an Airbnb review. More specifically, this is going to be a review of a stay in Richmond, Virginia. I did film another intro for this while I was there. However, the place gave us a bit more of a surprise than we expected. I thought I would just, like, prepare you for what's to come. I am going to do just the, your normal walkthrough, show you everything, but then make sure that you stay to the end because we had some unexplained activity and we're going to go into detail at the end of this video. So, without further delay, let's get started. Nineteen oh eight. Constructive structure erected in Richmond, Virginia. Hmm. Oh yeah, you could really feel the outside air. <laughs> yeah, like the moment you get down here. Okay, so I'm going to show you the bedrooms only for right now, and we're going to show the rest of the room when it is not dark. But this is the room that Brooke's going to use. Um, I wanted to show these rooms before we unmade the bed. So the first bedroom, this one, gorgeous headboard, green, like forest green headboard, love it cute little light. I wish it was an Edison bulb. That would make that just like perfect. Some nice art. And then there's a window seat and I am a sucker for a window seat. A very large mirror. He synopsed that this is probably used for um, like bachelorette parties. There's a connecting door here that connects to the other bedroom. A cute little fireplace and mantle. All of the mantles are very bare, which again leans into probably for parties. Uh, there's a nice little dressing chair here with some more art. My favorite part though is this window seat. I love the curtains, the big drapery. And then there's a gorgeous view of the city and also the 7-Eleven, but the city. We have one of those like light up signs that really reminds me of Moulin Rouge. And there's also a light on this side of the table. But moving on into this room, we're gonna go out and around. Again, we'll hit all the other rooms during the daytime, but we're just gonna look at these bedrooms. So you walk into this one, there's the connecting door. These also need Edison bulbs. They're des definitely designed for it, but um, Gorgeous line art. This is a nice fluffy chair with a ottoman and more towels. Towels are always a good. This one also has a fireplace with a lovely pinup style picture. Fake plants. And this, this bedside table actually has an Edison bulb. How do you turn on? How do you turn on? Do you turn on? Maybe you don't. Oh, it's not plugged in. Maybe. Nope, that's plugged in. Nope, it's not plugged in. Okay, it's not plugged in, but that is an Edison bulb, which makes me very happy. Those should be everywhere. Um, this does have USB plugs if you plug it in. I don't see where the plug would be though, but they have a luggage rack and a gorgeous canopy bed. Canopy is kind of lazily put up there, but it looks nice. It looks like you could fan it out if you wanted to. There's like a, a cat door randomly in the door. But there's also two entrances. Here we have an Andy Warhol quote. 
Everything has its beauty, but not everyone sees it by Andy Warhol. And each of the rooms have these tiny little trash cans, which is very nice. And then moving out of this room with the hallway and all of these, all of these are individual QR codes for locations in Richmond, like food locations or interesting places. So I will get close to those so you can scan them if you want. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. Next you have the bathroom. The bathroom is closest to this bedroom. You do have a hallway connecting the two. Uh, we'll come to the bathroom when it's not dark. So let's go into the last room. This is going to be the room that I'm staying in. Again, Edison bulbs. Uh, looks like there's an alarm clock here. Love those Edison bulbs. Alarm clock is plugged in already, but again, not plugged in itself. But there are plugs here. I love the suitcase style drawer. Love that. My headboard is pink. And I have a large floor to ceiling window. There's also a, there's also another decorative mirror that's just on the floor so you can move it about. Some beautiful abstract art, another war luggage rack, another chair with a footrest, and a bedside table with a book. And this is next level basic. I've never read this, but it looks really interesting. So ignore my mess. It's really cute. So it looks like this one is plugged up. So in total, there are three usable USB ports in here. And if you just heard that, I'm gonna be sleeping in here with the fire alarm beeping. Uh, we have contacted the owner of the place. So hopefully something will be done about that, but we'll see. I may be changing rooms, I'll keep you updated. But for now, everything seems nice. I wonder, oh, it's a closet, cool. Oh, and there's board games, amazing. So there's a heads up, a Scrabble. Um, I can't read what those are. There's Monopoly. Super cool. Kind of gives Jumanji vibes, but super cool. Those are the three bedrooms. I'll show you the rest of the house in the morning. Okay, so as you come up the steps, because you come through the door and straight up the steps, There's a really cool table with a sign that says good vibes only. And a gorgeous photo of Marilyn. Really cute nod to like designer brands with Marilyn Monroe's face. And then there's actually two of these. We've moved one of them. Um, but there's two like footstool things that you can use to either sit on here or take to other places in the area. So we've already seen the bedroom, which is here. So we're going in here to the office space. There's a little sign up here that says life is a collection of moments. And a view of the 7-Eleven across the street. Really cute desk area with a glass desktop and a really nice seat. A really cute like modern seat. There's a lot of these like little fur accents everywhere. Um, I th believe they're faux fur because I've felt them and they, they don't feel like actual pelts, but there's faux fur rugs everywhere. And then there's a couch with a Richmond pillow, and there's also extra pillows, and it looks like an extra comforter over here in this trunk. So now we're gonna head down the hallway to the living room area, and I'll show you some stuff in the hallway along the way. So this is a really cool artwork that tells the different, like, attractions within Richmond, including the Poe Museum. I showed you these before, so we won't look at these again. Um, bathroom! <laughs> so this 
area. I closed the door because we're all moving about. Um, comes with a medicine cabinet. Empty. It will put stuff there if you want to, if you want to forget stuff. Um, also has a lighted mirror with a touch button that does not work. But a lighted mirror, just the same. And also outlets. They actually supplied soap, but it was half full. And then the sink doesn't get hot, like the water in the sink doesn't get hot. And then the shower. Let me see if I can get it into frame. So this is what it looks like. It's um, it's a tub shower. So it is a tub. Then we have an issue with TP. They only provided one roll. So, so always remember with an Airbnb to bring wipes or to bring um, your own TP. And the line literally runs along the wall up to the shower head. Uh, shower head has amazing pressure. Uh, Brooke took a shower last night, but you have to come over here to turn it on or else you're gonna get sprayed by water because the shower head is positioned in a way that it comes straight down and it actually like soaked the floor last night. So that's a thing. <laughs> I'm actually almost too short for it. My hips come up to where the edge of the tub is so it's really hard to get in and out of it. But it's cute that it's a little claw foot tub. They also did provide towels. They were in eight, the rooms so that's a plus. Okay, and we're going to head down the hallway and look at the kitchen and the living room area. Look at the art along the way. There's a really pretty abstract jam art, Little Richmond, Virginia art. And these are really cool. These are, this is an ice cream map of Richmond. So like the different ice cream locations. And then this is a cocktail map of Richmond. Uh, this door only leads to like the air condition as you can hear. But this is the living room area. This is the like main draw in. So you see we have some cream colored chairs with wooden accent, a gorgeous little wood shape this isn't like the shape of virginia or anything it actually kind of looks like texas but there's two chairs like that then there's another large mirror and then they have some like simplistic art in here some line work um the mantle is absolutely gorgeous for photos again leaning into that bachelorette party vibe i really like the mirror actually and then there's a glass table here with another one of those faux fur rug accents. This one's a zebra. And then a really pretty pink sofa. And there's the other ottoman that we've moved in here. And the last big thing in here is going to be this like really cute cocktail cart. This really cute cocktail cart, it has like the glasses for you to have your drinks and some more like games and things. Some games, some cocktail books, like things to encourage the doing of things. I think that says Progresco? not sure. But anyway, um, I really like these windows. These are the same windows that were in my room. And then, of course, there's also a television that has streaming programs. There's a large door to the kitchen, so let's walk into the kitchen. Cute little holy guacamole kitchen design. I think there is detergent for you to wash your dishes if you use them, because they do provide dishes, they provide glassware. some bowls, cooking oil apparently, um, these really cute mugs, the dishware, bowls and plates, and then there's some knives, some cooking utensils here, and, um, and the reason they have all that is because they have a working gas stove. There's also a cute little plant display and a little breakfast nook area we can sit on the chairs and look out into the alley. Um, they do have free Wi-Fi, but the password and stuff's not on here. This is just decorative. We got a great view of the alley. <laughs> um, coming back.
back inside. There's a refrigerator with a freezer. Very nice. And then a large trash can. Large trash cans are always a plus. The washer, dryer, and iron. But I don't see any laundry detergent, so you would need to bring your own laundry detergent. And then the last amenities in the kitchen are the microwave and a Keurig. And it's always nice to see a name brand Keurig in a room. And then they also provided little K cups. They also provided a couple, and I do mean a couple, only two K cups. And they're not like name brand cake cups they're just french roast so not quite as stocked as you'd want it to be but it's nice and our final destination of the tour would be the outside patio it's really cold and i don't have my jacket on so this will be brief Ooh, and brisk very brisk very cold very cold okay so outside patio Really spacious, room for two to sit and more to stand. There's a nice little boot shoe and then a ashtray if you care to partake. And then the view is the alleyway, like I said, but it's not terrible. So let's go back inside. I get like this serious vertigo feeling Anytime I look down these stairs. Oh, I know. They're very... Uh, can you show me the app really quick? Yeah. Okay, so the door actually works on an app. You can use a code too, but the app works better. It's called August. Um, and it's kind of set up that you can put multiple things. So tap on that one. And then it uses Bluetooth to connect to the door. Which it takes a second. So it's showing it's long. You just tap it. And it unlocks the door. Amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is great. <laughs> yeah. So you can literally sit in your car and unlock the door before you run in, which is really great. <laughs> it is. <laughs> we have ghosts. We have been here our entire stay. So three days? Three. So Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Yes. Three so days. We have three nights here. Yes. And in those three nights, things have happened. So, who had the first experience? One of you two. I think... I'm thinking it was you. Actually, no, you had the first one. I did! Because you and I, I had it the same mm -hmm. night. The same night. Yeah. Yep. So, let's see. That was the very first night we were here. Um, so, a blanket similar to this one, but in like an ivory color, was on a chair in the bedroom I was in. And all three of us, there's three bedrooms here, so all three of us were going to take a bedroom, except I don't know if you can hear periodically in the background a beeping. That would be the smoke detector. And they never answered my message about it, so... It's still going off. Yeah, so that was in the room that Laura was going to sleep in. Mm -hmm. I told her if it's too annoying, she can come in my room. So I prepped um, the opposite side of the bed, which was closest to the door. And the way I did it was if I'm laying here, and this is where Laura would be laying. I took that blanket off the chair and just had it, you know, like folded at the foot of the bed on her side. And I was like already starting to drift in and out of sleep by the time she came in because the smoke detector started talking, saying low battery. And that's just no. so creepy. Saying I low up. battery. Yes. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> whispering. Because like I heard it because I'm in the room next door to that room. So it's Laura's room, my room, and, my. and then Brooke's room. And so <laughs> I woke to the sound of low battery. And I was like, <laughs> what <laughs> was that? That actually <laughs> creeped me out more than the ghost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we didn't realize it until today, which is, or yesterday. No, it's no, today. It's this, it's this morning. morning. Uh, Monday morning. Um, <laughs> I thought when Laura came in that she had moved that blanket just out of the way and slid it to the foot of my bed because when I woke up the next morning it was there but then we <laughs> I just asked this morning I was like well when we were trying to like compare our experiences I was like did you move that blanket and you had said that it wasn't even there when you wasn't came in. even like where I 
could register that it was there. Mm -hmm. I came in like a toddler with my sleeping bag and just flopped it down on the bed and the bed was clear. Yeah. <laughs> and the only thing we could think of as to why that happened was because I am perpetually cold when I sleep. I have to have, I have two blankets that I sleep with um, and I wasn't sleeping under the covers here because they felt icky on my skin. Uh, so I was a little bit chillier than usual. So I'm thinking they moved it because then I started, I like, when I woke up, I realized my feet were like kind of like snuggled underneath it. Mm -hmm. So I think it was like, maybe they were trying to keep my feet warm. Yeah, they yeah. tucked you in. So this morning, the way the whole conversation started was actually, I was laying in bed still and Brooke was out here doing- I had to work. I had to work. Day. And I sent you a video or something. Oh I yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like, I'm on TikTok <laughs> the moment I wake up and yeah. <laughs> addicted. Uh, and I get a, uh, she goes, by the way, this place is really haunted. <laughs> <laughs> and I literally had had an experience in the middle of the night last night. And so I jump out of bed and I'm like, you're not kidding! Like it was just a whole, a whole thing. And then Laura came out. I heard, what happened to you? <laughs> and, and Laura comes out and we're like, this place is haunted. And she was like, Oh, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> I have an experience too. So, what happened to me was so I tend to run hot at night, but I will always pull all the covers. Now, when I am sleeping and I get hot, I literally just like shove violently all blankets <laughs> off of me. There is no order to it at all, and it has been this way since I was a very small child. I woke in the night with only, so there's like the sheet and then the comforter thing. It's not quite a comforter, but it's yeah a heavier blanket. So I woke up and only the sheet was on, but the heavier blanket was folded gently back and neatly back. And so I was like, open my eyes and I kind of look around in the darkness and I was like, listening and there was no sound and I just kind of thought oh I guess we have a ghost mm -hmm. <laughs> and then went right back to sleep like it was the most normal casual thing yeah. for me to just go oh, a ghost helped me out because I was <laughs> overheating and then that was it so then Laura had her experience which was kind of similar yeah very yeah, similar it was various it was like a very similar trend here <laughs> Like I said, I had the sleeping bag, and it's just something that I usually bring with me because you never know what your sleeping situation is going to be. So if I'm on a road trip, I take a sleeping bag, and it's got a zipper on the side like most sleeping bags do. Well, I had it zipped all the way up to like my chest, like fully zipped up, mummified in this sleeping bag. That you use all the time. All the time. All the time. And it never comes undone, but I also sleep hot. I get really hot at night and sometimes I will unzip it myself and stick my leg out. I had not unzipped it, but it was unzipped. And it I, I believe it happened twice that it was unzipped and I hadn't unzipped it. I would say so the the main thing that triggered it, I would also like to add that I am not in tune to this stuff. Like mm -hmm. I have not seen anything ever. Like the most weird thing was I was listening to a podcast about a haunted doll and my wife. Did you, did see, you see something again? I did. Across the oh, Hi! <laughs> um, <laughs> I keep talking right, about right that. Because <laughs> I was going to mention it because, like, I'm always, like, a little... Uh, again, like, I'm cozy because I am, like, always a little chilled while I'm conscious. But, like, legit, like, the second before you pointed at that mirror, mm -hmm. I... <laughs> I got like a weird little like goosebumpy <laughs> chill that just came over me and then passed. Listen, I don't like the haunted doll either. Okay, I'm gonna have to talk it about is more. Upset. But it was just like my all, the only thing I ever had happen was like uh, my my computer glitched from it, and then I went on the forum and a bunch of other people's electronics and all sorts of stuff happened. Um, but I've never never seen anything, never heard anything, whatever. So I am sitting right where Anna is sitting. And I have my laptop on my lap facing the same way and I am working, not moving, and I had one, well, 
two of these gold peak teas. Now, when I one of them was half full, and then I had this one, and they were sitting on the coffee table, which is right next to the camera here. Completely and, um, out of yeah, it's reach. a good like the edge of the coffee table is here. When I woke up, one of them was the half empty one was on the floor, and I figured because I was the first one to go to bed, maybe you guys like accidentally knocked it over. And I was the last one. Yeah, we immediately went to bed. Yeah, and and it was not on the floor. Yeah, so they, I picked it, or I uh, I picked it up and put. They were both sitting next to each other, uh, at least an inch and a half away from the edge. I am sitting here, just literally like sitting, just this one. All of a sudden, just. And I'm like, and it, again, it was like way out of reach. Yeah. And I just was like, I'm going to leave that there for a bit. Because <laughs> that was um, when you sent me the message, oh, by the way, this place is like super haunted. Yeah. 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 And I was like, like, like you were awake. I was and, like, <laughs> and I was like, you better believe it is. <laughs> mm-hmm. But that was just like the wildest thing because I, I, that's like not something that happens to me ever. So I was trying, I was sitting here, it probably happened about 15 minutes before I texted you. Because I was sitting here like, maybe there was a vibration because like, you could probably hear the air in the back. off. Because yeah. we had stuff on there before. Because literally right now, where I have, where I put the T is even closer to the edge than when it was over there. And it's there. like an inch close, like it's an inch away from the Yeah, so it's still now. not like hanging off the edge or anything. So, I was just like, uh. And there's no, like it's not tilted or anything. We have so much stuff. Mm-hmm. on there that is lighter than that T that should be that would have been at least jostled yeah, sorry that was me uh, that would have been like <laughs> jostled around if it was from a vibration for mm-hmm. sure so and then you guys have been seeing all sorts of shadow people uh, yeah like corner of your eye kind Not of like shadows just shadow people just They're shadows just, just shadows like just shadows. there's movement okay. yeah mm-hmm. um, I saw it at the bottom of the stairs and I saw it just coming into this living room area when we first came in just a little bit ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I've been seeing it in this mirror a lot. <laughs> yeah. Just like going by this mirror. Like it's got biz- it's got like work to do and it's like moving pretty quick. Yeah. And so we were trying to discuss, we, we think that it's, we don't have any confirmation. We haven't tried to contact it, but like it's a feeling that it's female. Mm-hmm. Maybe uh, a nanny or someone who was living in the house with the family mm-hmm. might have been staying in. Yeah. Um, and then... Like, it definitely has this, like... Caretaker. It, yeah, yeah, there's a nurturing energy to it that's not threatening. Like, like neither of you guys have ever... I mean, it's just, like, it's just creepy. It's like, what is that? Yeah, it's yeah. like... It, it's one of those things where... When there's someone in in the house, you want to know they're in the house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're not making a bunch of noise. They're not being disturbing in any way. The only yeah. interactions we've had are things like, oh, you're a little hot. Oh, you're a little cold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Drink oh, some th- water instead I of I would say, this tea sucks because it's, like, <laughs> probably, like, that it's not, it's not sweet, tea. It's not real sweet tea. Yeah. yeah. In the South, Which like, I'm like, do it. I get it. <laughs> like, like, I don't right. totally understand. <laughs> yeah. I keep so, looking in that mirror and I'm like I don't like that mirror. I don't know if I want to look in that mirror. <laughs> I don't like its placement because it's on an outside wall. And I don't think it's anything from the outside because there's paint blue on the back and front porches yeah. mm-hmm. leading to the doors. So like I think whatever it is is something or someone who is supposed to be or occupied this space at some point. Yeah. yeah. And then there was like your computer gave you almost no warning before shutting down yeah like, yeah, like the, the battery, battery drain so fast. i charged it before we came here and i didn't open it until this morning so i used it on friday or, yeah friday i worked friday um but i had it plugged in and then i just had it closed so it wasn't off this yeah. whole weekend but it usually when it's closed like that like it takes like maybe a little less like maybe like five days to a week for it to get like low low battery um, and I wasn't doing anything intensive. I keep the brightness setting low, and then it just, it was like, oh, low battery, and then it was like, Burp, you're dead. It's like, and also, we've had issues. They, we have an electronic lock that has an app. Oh, yeah. And now, we definitely know the deadbolt, because the deadbolt gets stuck in the door frame because there's a 
copious amount of latex paint on it. <laughs> and it's also like, and it's old, old and wet. And it's an old wooden door. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it probably is swelling. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, but there's been enough random issues with it. Like we understood on Sunday it rained all day. It was mm -hmm. 80 to 100% chance of rain all day. And so we knew that it was just going to have continuous issues. But it I shouldn't have been, because like when, when it locks and it doesn't quite lock all the way and we have to like push it, mm -hmm. those are the kinds of things we expect. Right. But right. for it to just completely like go on the fritz. Like right. there were there were points yeah. where it, it does this thing where like, ee, 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 yeah, ee, it's ee, ee, so we have to like completely reset it. Yeah, so instead of like a like a normal deadbolt where it's the little like just the piece, it's a whole round thing. Um, so you turn it to the right to unlock it, you turn it to the left to lock it. Uh, but what it does is it go, when it goes to the unlock, it sometimes like gets stuck, like so it goes all the way and then comes back like a pinch and then me, mm -hmm. me, yep. me, and it just me. yells at us. Yeah, for no reason, and it's like, uh, okay, <laughs> and it's sporadic because sometimes it'll like it did it the first time we came in, like because oh, it was because we came in first because Laura got lost. And I, um, just, <laughs> I assumed that was just what As happened, always. and then we couldn't get it to stop. And when it's doing that, we can't manually lock it. It's yeah, stuck. like we can't get the the actual like it either gets stuck in the door, like we can't unlock it or we can't lock it. Like it's like the actual like piece gets stuck somehow in the mechanism. Yeah. Um, and we found that we can fix it pretty easily by leaning on the door. But I also, when it does that, like kind of gets stuck. I have to like hold it mm -hmm. for, and then it kind of like just knocks it off. And it's like that's weird because yeah. that's obviously not it doesn't have anything to do with the door frame at that point yeah it has to do with the, the electronics. actual electronics right and first time it was really scary yeah we, were like, <laughs> we can't lock the door in this yeah. place we and, don't yeah it. and then yeah. we couldn't get out of oh the yeah door. i forgot about that it yeah. locked us in it it at did. one point yeah and we're like uh i mean yeah. we could easily break it down Right, but, but like we like, were we just want to go to Seven Eleven. Like, what in the world? Like, at least let us go get some some snackies. Like, <laughs> and then I've also heard footsteps that yes. there was no one attached to. Specifically, just a little bit ago, we were in Brooke's bedroom, and I heard someone come down the hall and across in front of me, and it was just clear as day footsteps, but nobody was there. Yeah, that's, I mean, we were like, that's like that's because she had looked, and she's like, that's not Anna. Yeah, and I was on the other side of the room, like it's definitely sitting really down, diagonal. It definitely yeah. feels like it's getting more comfortable with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, this is our, this will be our fourth night staying here. Yeah. Cause like, and I also think it's interesting. Like, it, it garnered enough power to, like, physically and neatly fold my mm -hmm. blanket. Yeah, and my blanket was still folded. It's literally almost like somebody, like, I had it nicely folded on this side of the bed, and it's almost like somebody picked it up and placed it. Yeah. Like, they didn't just shove it over. And, like, your tea, it was a full tea. It wasn't yeah. like it was... Yeah, like, this is... This is... Full. Yeah, it's... <laughs> there is so... barely an air bubble in there, so... And it's pretty, you know, I mean, if you... You, you know. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, <laughs> it's, like, conscious enough. And also, like, I don't sleep through stuff i like i i don't generally like sleep through the night in unfamiliar places mm -hmm. so and i hear like the the stairs and the door the door makes a noise mm -hmm. when it unlocks mm -hmm. and locks and i hear when like you go out to move the car mm -hmm. i hear brooke move down the hall down the stairs out the door lock the door Come back, unlock the door. Come back in, lock the door. Come, come up the stairs, go back to bed. I hear mm -hmm. like if one of you guys goes to the bathroom, like it's mm -hmm. I can I can tell what's going on in the house. So it's not like it's a an easy place to sneak in and out of. It is not an easy place to move around without disturbing people yeah, yeah it's and a, like it's the back very echoey. the back door you can open and close but there's no stairs or anything to it yeah and we're on the second floor yeah and it's like a high second floor yeah so like a flight of stairs yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but like we there's no way to get to the back door our door to get in here is on the first floor 
um, and then the stairs are like like door and the stairs like immediately start like there's just enough room to, for the door to open inside yeah and then on the outside if you're looking at the door there's a, another door on the right that's for the lower level so it's an, it's just like this but only downstairs and I'm pretty sure no one's over there, like in there right now I haven't yeah. seen any movement no 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 lights. we haven't heard mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. And like I pay attention to that mess because I'm nosy. Yeah, the it ring very is easy. the ring also looks weird over there because there's ring door cameras on both sides. Yeah, and it theirs like is lit up. Yeah. Mm. So I don't know, but it's um, it's interesting, and no one's rung our doorbell or anything. Mm -hmm. um, no. But like, it couldn't be any of us messing with each other. Mm -hmm. Whew. It does that sometimes. Yeah, but there's a light flicker. Oh, did the light flicker? The light, light flickered. flickered. <laughs> but it also, yeah. in my house, it sometimes, in, in my house, which is definitely not haunted, it does that. Sometimes yeah, I would say sometimes like there's like a power and everything mm -hmm. shifts. So I'm going to write that one off. But, I've um, heard it. I've heard the. Um, my whole soul dropped though. Like, <laughs> I know. When you came in, you found the jacket. Oh, oh yeah. shoot. That's right. So. Um, we came in kind of later this evening because we were out all day, um, and we were doing some stuff, um, filling some tic tac you know, and I was getting comfier, and I noticed, uh, so Anna so graciously helped me get this very nice, lovely red so velvet pretty. blazer, it's so nice, mm -hmm. um, the other day, and, um, the bedroom that I'm in does not have a closet. I was just like looking around and I realized because I had the jacket on a hanger on like a velvet hanger hanging from the mantle like edge like it wasn't moving and there's no like real airflow in no, there. No there's um, no breeze and like we don't have the video ceilings are wrong. wrong and so I looked and, and it's not drafty. I not at all. Um, except at the bottom of the stairs. Right. But my jacket and with the, like the hanger was like pushed off the mantle and was like in a clump on the floor and I was like, oh no, they don't like my jacket. Like, like oh, you want to see it on me? Like, and, like when we were in there filming the TikToks, I noticed that it had fallen and I thought maybe you had like knocked it over and just like while you were moving around. Yeah, but, but I didn't really. Also, like it occurred to me when you were like, oh no, like it got knocked over. I was like. She loves that thing. Like she would have, I would have picked noticed. it up yeah. immediately. Immediately, I would have because it's it's velvet. Yeah. Like it's and you want it to and it's not crushed velvet. It's, it's velvet. Like, like yes. Mm -hmm. Like and I would have heard it. I would have seen it. Like it's bright red. Like I would have definitely noticed if it had if I had knocked it over. But yeah. I hadn't gone over there actually because my makeup that I so I reapplied my makeup and it was on the other side of the room in front of a mirror and I was t I was only touching up over there. Yep. So yeah, you didn't walk I didn't really go over there. there at all. Yeah, I I walked like halfway over there to put stuff on the bed, and then and Laura didn't go over there. No, I didn't. I didn't go over there. I'm wondering if um, I have a couple of theories. One, I'm wondering if my stuff's being touched because I'm not as in tune and I don't see the things and hear and the it things. And it wants your attention real bad. Yeah, yeah. and it, wa it wants it, me it to know. It did the big thing in front of in you. In front of me. Like, mm -hmm. I was, it was like, my vision was here and it was like, yeah. Um, but I, also my other thing was, it is a men's jacket and I am a female. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if it was like, females don't wear men's clothing. Or maybe even like, you better not be bringing a man in here. That too. Right. That could be it. There's a lot of theories that it could be. Yep. I just got like a a chill like when we were just saying like we don't bring men in here. That's mm -hmm. fine. We won't like, bring men in here. That's fine. There's pink couch. <laughs> Why would we bring a man in here? But I mean like I think the it's getting more comfortable with us. I don't think it's mad at us. And I don't think it's like I it does feel like it's it's a caretaker and it uh I do think it's it's probably a lady. Honestly, it's probably lonely. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's January in Richmond. How many people are, are in getting there? Airbnbs? And right. it feels like a space that is usually used for like bachelorette parties. Like the way that it's it or I feel like that's who they're catering to. Yeah. Because um, it can fit up to seven guests, which is quite a bit for yeah. an Airbnb. And especially in a like this was a very affordable one. This was actually cheaper or about the same as your typical four guests mm -hmm. one. 
so. And it's really, like, it's really Lovely. cute and really nice. Yeah. Really, the only issue is um, <laughs> the funky lock yeah. and the, the freaking smoke alarm. Smoke alarm. <laughs> and the fact that yeah. the landlord won't talk to us, apparently. Yeah, literally right. hasn't answered a single message of mine on Airbnb. And again, so. like, we're going into night four. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a whole other thing. That's a whole other thing. <laughs> So, but that has, doesn't have to do with the ghost. The ghost is about a landlord than the land. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we haven't had any issue with the TV. We haven't had any. I haven't had an issue with the iron. Nope. We haven't had any issue Coffee. with the appliances. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So, like, it's just been like our personal appliances. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I left the pizza in the car. Oh no! It's okay, it's fine. It's pretty chilly. Anyway. <laughs> it's pretty chilly, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. And it's pizza. It'll be fine overnight. We'll figure that out more. But, um, no, I think we definitely have a ghost to ghost. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, and I'm interested to see if she shows up on film or in this recording vocally right. at all. Like yeah, any kind of like, audio or something. I will say that we weren't expecting a ghosty. No. So we didn't like do any spectral communication. We didn't bring any equipment. I would have if I would have expected it. Yeah. But that's why we're you're like hearing about it rather than seeing it because we just we didn't expect it. We didn't know. Yeah. We didn't so, bring any equipment. Like right. <laughs> and look, like we're we're all like hip to the ghosties like yeah. clearly not a frightening situation and i don't feel threatened and it no. doesn't feel i feel like other people would have been scared as oh. it, like by the shadow the first night and, like, <laughs> yeah. and it, it does it in daylight too because yeah. like at the bottom of the stairs i was seeing mm -hmm. um movement which was interesting but like not again it's not a living human being whatever it is is you know not a physical being yeah because they would have been noticed at this point yeah um and if it was the landlord i would hope they would have changed that freaking battery by now <laughs> so <laughs> that was us showing you the airbnb at this address that i'm going to put right here yeah. right there this address um it didn't have like a cute kitschy name but it's like a what would you say the theme in here is like kind of pop arty chic yeah, yeah it's chic. like maryland chic yeah so it's a maryland chic airbnb and it's downtown richmond Mid yes century modern glam yes that is the perfect explanation for the comments down below tell us what your favorite room is and if you don't talk to us about that, tell us which of the ghosty experiences was the creepiest for you. If you don't talk to us about that, talk to us about something because we love for you to talk to us down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come around again soon. Say bye. Bye. bye.